Um, I figured this architect character was kind of an amalgam of, you know, an actual engineer, an architect, a you know, political force, and, you know, I guess a, a godlike presence. Then as you go through the different drawings, there's original notes about, um, you know, why it's important uh, that the architect has the desk and, like, the amenities, um, which, in his opinion, uh, like, supplying himself with the amenities kind of trickles down into the community. Um, then he goes and sets about designing a, uh, the houses and cars, parking lots, uh, public areas, um, and then kind of a debate uh, within himself um, comes up where he's kind of debating some of the issues that are kind of my primary interest, which is, um, I guess, just how these communities unfold between um, uh, kind of privacy and public lands and whatnot and uh, how they affect community. As it uh, progresses and the neighborhood is built, he charges himself with defending the neighborhood. And this had a lot to do with uh, the battle that was taking place in the installation. And then in this, as the narrative unfolds, uh, the art architect uh, set out to um, kind of give a, a sense of heritage that was lost when this place was kind of bulldozed out. And so uh, he invents these um, like kind of indigenous mascots um, that kind of uh, are given to the people as, as some portion of their heritage or a, a fictitious heritage. But um, finally, uh, he draws up some plans for the um, movie version of that history, which <laughs> is kind of his way of eventually selling it back to them. The community I kind of picked to replicate was a very modern uh, western suburb, which um, is more or less where I come from. And um, I've always been fascinated by uh, basically like the whole West, which has kind of um, been wiped clean, at least its prehistory has. And um, it has developed very fast. Um, and I think because of that, there is um, a very pure example of what our culture is kind of unhindered by heritage and whatnot. Um, and so it's kind of an interesting, I guess, lens for me to um, look at how we choose, you know, to basically build the world around ourselves. What I really like about art in general, um, working in, I guess, a number of different mediums, I like the fact that art has this ability to be um, oblique, uh, that you don't have to make it all make sense, or you can kind of put the clues out there. And um, my hopes is that people would sit down, kind of look through these uh, artifacts, and then kind of assemble a story that uh, I guess I had in mind, but also that, depending on where you're coming from, uh, is a different story. Like.